Solving Simple Equations, Class 6, NCERT. Amar has unknown number of marbles, which we represent by a variable x. He gives four marbles to Ram. Amar is left with 15 marbles. Number of marbles Amar had minus number of marbles Amar gives to Ram is equal to number of marbles left with Amar. The mathematical sentence for this statement is x minus 4 is equal to 15. This is a simple equation as it has only one unknown quantity that is one variable x. The value of the unknown quantity or the variable in an equation for which the equation is satisfied is called the solution of the equation or the root of the equation. In the figure, there are two weighing scales. In the first one, the weight in the two pans is equal, so the weighing scale is balanced. In the second, the weights in the two pans are not equal. The apple is much lighter than the baby. So the weighing scale is unbalanced. An equation can be represented by a balanced weighing scale. Now, Amar has X marbles and he is giving four marbles to Ram is represented in the left side pan of the balance. Number of marbles left with Amar 15 are represented on the right side of the weighing scale. So the equation is X minus 4 is equal to 15. Let us now try to see how we can solve it. Now to take away this minus 4 from the left hand side, we add 4 to both sides of the equation. So we have x minus 4 plus 4 on the left side pan of the balance and 15 plus 4 on the right side pan of the balance. To solve the equation, we have to add 4 to both sides because adding 4 will leave only x on the left hand side. So now we get x is equal to 19 which is the root of the equation or the solution of the equation. Amar had 19 marbles is the solution of the equation. To verify the equation, we can substitute the value of the solution in the equation. This is the equation that we have. The solution of the equation is x equal to 19, which we will substitute. Left hand side or LHS is equal to x minus 4. x is equal to 19, so 19 minus 4 is equal to 15. Oh, it is equal to the right hand side. RHS. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. Therefore, the solution is correct. Let's take another example. Tara had an unknown number of samosas. We represent the unknown number of samosas by the variable x. Her mother gave four more samosas. Tara now has 15 samosas. So Tara had X samosas plus mother gave her four samosas. Now these two added together is equal to the number of samosas Tara has after receiving samosas from her mother. Now in mathematical language we write this as X plus 4 is equal to 15. To solve the equation we should try and get only X on one side. For this, we must subtract 4 from both sides. Now the equation is x plus 4, where x is the samosas that Tara had and 4 samosas were given by the mother. 
and on the other side the number of samosas tara has after receiving more samosas from the mother is 15 on the right hand side pan now we do not want this plus 4 on the left hand side pan so to remove this we will have to subtract 4 from the left hand side pan we have to do the same thing on the right hand side pan so we will be subtracting 4 from the right pan also so we have x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 15 minus 4 and the weighing scale is balanced the equation is given to solve the equation we subtract 4 from both sides so that on the left hand side no we have only x so x is equal to 11 and this is the solution of the equation tara had 11 samosas earlier to verify the equation we can substitute the value of the solution in the equation x plus 4 is 15 left hand side or LHS is equal to x plus 4. The solution of the equation is x is equal to 11. So we write 11 for x. So 11 plus 4 is equal to 15 which is equal to the right hand side RHS. So left hand side is equal to right hand side and therefore the solution is correct. Now let's take the third example. Mala's age is x years. That is, we do not know how many years Mala, how old is Mala. Her mother's age is four times Mala's age. So, mother's age will be four times X. And we are also given that her mother is 60 years old. So, we can equate her mother's age in terms of Mala's age which is 4X to her mother's age which is 60 years. So 4x is on the left pan of the weighing balance and 60 is on the right hand side of the weighing scale. Mala's age is x which is a variable. Mother's age is 4x. Her mother is 60 years old. So equation formed is 4x is equal to 60. Now we want only x on the left hand side. So we divide both sides of the equation by 4. Now on dividing by 4, we get x is equal to 15. Mala is 15 years old is the solution of the equation. Fourth example is to find the distance between your home and school. If it takes 2 minutes to reach school, when you travel at a speed of 2 meters per second. Now the time units are different because speed is measured in 2 meters per second and time is 2 minutes. So we convert 2 minutes into seconds. So 2 minutes will be equal to 120 seconds. Let us use x to be the distance between the school and home and x is the variable or the unknown quantity. Speed is equal to distance upon time. The equation formed is 2 is equal to x upon 120. Now we multiply both sides of the equation by 120 so as to have only x on the right hand side. So 2 into 120 is equal to x. So 240 is equal to x. The distance between the school and home is 240 meters. This is the solution of the last problem. We can solve equations using inverse operations. The operations used to solve equations are addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. The same operation must be carried out 
on both sides of the equation to keep the two sides balanced. In the first example, we add the same number to both sides. In the second example, we subtracted the same number from both sides. In the third example, we divided both sides by the same non-zero number. In the fourth example, we multiplied both sides by the same non-zero number. 